Thank you for calling First Alert. My name is Keisha. How may I help you? Hello, Keisha. I have a model C0605 carbon monoxide detector. I bought this for an older couple. I've got a gas fireplace, and I knew they'd forget to open the flue someday on their fireplace. And sure enough, they forgot a couple days ago. Firefighters say most people who die in a fire die from smoke inhalation. That can happen in as little as five minutes. And it took them about 20 minutes before they realized something was wrong. But the monoxide detector never went off. So I went to the hardware store, exchanged it for another one, thinking the first one was defective. But before putting it in service, I wanted to check to make sure it worked. I've seen a carbon monoxide detector in an airplane, and it's very sensitive. When I held your unit over a smoldering fire, it didn't alarm. Shouldn't it go off? What? No, it's not going to go off. The consumer affairs person told me that carbon monoxide comes from things like fossil fuels and from wood not burning properly. So let's do this simple test. Let's take some green wood and spritz it down with water so that it won't burn completely. Now, let's take four full-size sheets of newspaper, crumple them up, and spritz them with water so that they won't burn completely. Three and four. Now, let's put on our safety equipment and make some carbon monoxide. The blister pack said this was a first alert model C0605 carbon monoxide detector. But in fact, if you were to take the AC power adapter off the back and look at the very tiny label, you'd see that it's a model C0606, which is also what the inst instruction sheet said. Nevertheless, it's a new unit, lot number 37877. It has battery backup. It's been on for a while and should be ready for any testing. Now, according to First Alert, there's only one official test for this unit, and that's their test. To test the unit their way, you hold the test button down until you hear a chirp, followed by a pair of four beeps. But really, that only tells you that there's power to the unit, that the test button works, and that the beeper works. So let's test the unit my way. As you can see, I've started the little fire going. It's pretty smoky. It's not a smoke detector. This is a carbon monoxide detector. But on the assumption that this is incomplete combustion, we should be able to pick something up. Now, First Alert says you can't detect carbon monoxide outdoors. You have to test for it in a closed-up area. But they certainly don't condone testing with your car exhaust. Car exhaust is extremely corrosive, and if you try and test for carbon monoxide using your car exhaust, you're only going to destroy the sensor in this unit. Now, the sensor in the airplane carbon monoxide detector is on continuously, and that's why it's able to pick up carbon monoxide so quickly. But I've come to learn that on some of these newer units, the sensor is not on continuously. They do something called sampling, where they bring the unit on and off, and they bring the sensor on, on and off periodically to sniff for carbon monoxide. And that may explain why it's taking so long to respond. This may be a little boring. We'll give it about 30 more seconds. Holding the unit down so that the sensor has the best chance of picking up monoxide. And as you can see, nothing. Just to show you that it's still working, I'll do their test. I'll hold the test button in. There's the chirp. And the two pair of four beeps. This is actually within specification. Buried in the user's manual, it says the unit can take as long as 15 minutes to respond to 400 parts per million carbon monoxide. Further down, it says 400 parts per million can cause death in two hours. While that sounds like a lot of warning, carbon monoxide usually puts you to sleep first, and you're not likely to respond to an alarm when you're asleep. I know this isn't a smoke detector. I didn't buy it for that. The elderly couple have a gas fireplace. It doesn't make smoke when the flue is closed. It makes carbon monoxide. I was looking for a detector that responded as fast as the detector in the airplane. 
Obviously, this first alert doesn't. Now, in all fairness, I was able to get the unit to alarm after about 10 minutes of heavy concentration. And in the first 20 minutes the older couple had their flu clothes, they didn't report any headaches, which is usually the first sign of monoxide poisoning. So maybe this unit is okay for this application. Still, I'd like to find something that's a little more sensitive.